some of our key actions so far. So first things first, so today we're uh, delighted to really um, launch the returner site page. So as we've gone through this, obviously we've known that yes, there's ex some existing initiatives. So we thought, okay, first step, we can really use this site page to highlight some of those initiatives and really give people an opportunity to find, you know, f f an easy way to find um, the employers that are obviously recruiting this space. Um, obviously, you'd see on here as well, we're trying to um, work out whether what is a supported hiring initiative, what is a returner uh, program. So at the bottom of this page, which you can't see, but you're to go on the site uh, um, later, so Julianne Miles from Women Returners, who's with us tonight as well, there's actually a returner's dictionary. So <laughs> there's plenty of terms out there to help you understand what this all means in terms of existing initiatives. Um, the other part really I think is, is really key to, key to hear some of the returner stories. So those people who've successfully come back to the industry, um, some of them working for the firms, people are part of this work stream as well. Two sides to this, I think it's really important that returners also can hear those stories, connect to people, and those, those experiences I think will resonate with people as well, but also employers as well. It's good to hear some of the stories of what this means to people and, and how they found their way back and what was actually successful for them as well. And maybe some of the challenges I guess too. Um, the returners database, so we'll come on to that in a few minutes, but that will be accessible from the site page uh, for the candidates and obviously for employers as well. Um, and the other part is really the returner support. So you will see on here where I guess in some way there's a flexible approach to this, but firms in terms of providing support to people, you know, number one, coaching support is, is, is a great way of, of helping people get back into the industry. Uh, we work with women returners as well, and some of the other firms have been working with them too in terms of that preparation. But things that you can do yourself in terms of mentoring, um, networking, and obviously the learning opportunities just to help people get back in and find their feet. I think there's a few top tips that we can probably give you to really help with this because we have some lovely, you know, we have the website, we have the database, etc. We've got the event coming up. Um, but it's important we look at some of these processes to make sure they're, they're really, really successful. So the first part is the recruitment practices. I think the main thing is really signal support that you are a firm that will welcome returners back into your company. So from the exec team down, this is really important for our strategy as we move forward. Obviously, the really key part is the talent acquisition team. So a lot of your big firms have direct recruitment teams who are working in this area. And let's face it, the recruitment process starts and ends with them. Okay, so bring them in, engage with them, explain to them obviously part of diversifying your strategy is also to look at returners. And fundamentally, the other part is you know, hiring managers as well, interviews. You're moving away from what is your current experience. That doesn't really apply to these people. And, and maybe even stop looking at you know, what was your previous experience. It's what are the transferable skills? What are the strengths that you can bring to the organization and bring to the, the role, obviously, in the company as well? And lastly, I'd say suppliers as well. I haven't spoken to the, the suppliers, and I've heard one example recently where um, they placed actually a candidate at, at one of the firms with the um, initiative, so that was really positive. But the candidate had, had basically said to the firm, I can't find a route back. I've literally been told by suppliers that I don't have relevant experience. So I would ask you as well to really engage with your suppliers, really talk to them about this strategy and say we are open to returners.